No way it's already here. Louie, what are we looking for? What do we got, puppy? No way. <gasps> yes! It says hashtag Dan Bun. <laughs> now, before we unbox this, I must say, there's only one person in the world that calls me Dan Bun, and it is my very good friend, Charlie Moorcroft of the Moorcroft Conservation Foundation. I just did the video with him the other day. I did a tour of his facility, house, whatever we want to call it, and he sent me a little gift today. Now, guys, normally I heavily, heavily, heavily suggest that you already have the enclosure set up and everything, and, and you're more than prepared before you get an animal, but I do need to run to the store really quickly to grab some last minute stuff. I thought that I had a bunch of supplies that I actually don't. So I just set something up nice and temporarily for this little one, but I will be getting more permanent stuff shortly. Okay. Non-venomous, you know, don't bother us, fish and wildlife, all that fun stuff. Oh, bunch of new, so perfectly perfectly packaged. Of course, I expect nothing less from Mr. Charlie. What is this? What? <gasps> what is that? Charlie, God, God dang it, Charlie. You see what that is? <laughs> There's a little baby spotted turtle in there. Hi, Nugget. Hello. There's a little bit. I was not planning on that. Okay, what else did you send, you nut job? Oh, here's what I was thinking. Anything else? Just making sure before I close this up for good. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, let's go ahead and just cut off the tape here. Guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Mentally, this right here is my very first tortoise. Oh my God, this is a nice, robust, healthy, little red foot, a little cherry head, red foot tortoise from Mr. Charlie Moorcroft. Oh my God, hi. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful little fella. Look at it, hi buddy, welcome. First thing we're gonna do is give you a nice little soak here. Oh, you're so much bigger than I thought you'd be. Little soak and a little pellet if you would like. A little food? No way, are you about to just go for it? Are you serious? No, not thirsty? Oh wow. Oh, you are hungry, aren't you? Oh, look at this one go. Look at you. Oh my goodness, you're hungry. <laughs> Guys, look at this little tortoise. Oh my goodness, you're gonna fit right in here. You're a good little Italian tortoise. You're hungry. <laughs> so let me just show you guys the setup that I have so far for it. So I need to run to the store and grab three things. I need two terracotta, well, I guess four things. I need more substrate. I need like peat moss and maybe a little bit of mulch to mix into that. Because right now that's just peat moss and some sand and sphagnum moss. I also need a small plastic enclosure to make a, a nice humid hide. I'm going to flip a little plastic box upside down cut out a little entrance and put in damp sphagnum moss. That way it stays nice and humid for the little tort because that's very, very important for their growth. And then the final thing is I just need two little terracotta dishes uh, for a food plate and for a water dish. So just some basic stuff. But other than that, I, I think that this is pretty much good. And I'm probably going to replace that thing because that kind of takes up a lot of room. I didn't realize that. And this little one is still munching away. This little fella looks like she's all done. So here you go into your little enclosure for now. This is definitely, I think, going to be a temporary home because I think that this little tort can definitely use something a bit bigger than this. Now she is going right into the hide, which is pretty much what I expected, but it makes me happy that she's enjoying it. Okay, so I just put a screen cover over the little red foot tortoise there until I can go get those supplies. But we also have this little baby to deal with right here. So I'm gonna go see match up if they're, uh, if this little one is a similar size to the other spotted turtles that I have. So I have a feeling that these spotted turtles are monsters in comparison. So you know what we're gonna do? Okay, let's have a look here. It's 
so pretty. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> you are way too tiny to go in <laughs> with my spotted turtles. Well, look at the size difference. That is crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little guy back for just a minute. Hi, buddy, go back for just a minute. And I'm gonna get you your own little setup. Excuse me while I plop that right back on. Sorry, little buddy, I'll be right back. Now I have a bunch of baby concentric terrapins here. I have eight of them from a very, very close friend of mine that are all gonna be available on my Patreon. If you guys hit the link right up over here, those are gonna be posted probably later in the next week or so. And so I'm considering putting this little spotted turtle in with them. But you know what? I, I really, I don't like mixing these two, even as babies. Terrapins like, you know, I just think that they have two different of requirements to keep together, even temporarily. So this sphagnum moss is good stuff for burying in, for turning the water a little acidic. So we're gonna go ahead and plop a little bit right in this little tub. I have some nice plants that I got from my pond. And we're just gonna plop this little guy right in. Hi, beautiful. Hello, little one. Okay, cutie pie. Go ahead, into your new little setup. And just as expected, this little one is just gonna bury down into that little substrate. I'm gonna throw in the rest of this sphagnum moss just for fun. I keep these containers in case I have to ship any animals. And to think they were that size, these fellas were that big when I first got them. Now, as the sun goes down here, I made a few changes to this enclosure. Number one, I got a bigger tub. Number two, as we can see, I added some cypress mulch because I hear that it's a good substrate. And number three, I have a water dish there and a food dish right there. I like those terracotta dishes. I feel like they're nice and strong. They can't really be pushed around. But anyway, I also have this whole little net over the whole spiel just in case anything comes by during the day. At night, we're getting below 65 degrees. So I will be bringing in this little tortoise as soon as the sun fully is done setting. I will open that up and put her in a nice little little tub with some sphagnum moss and just let her ride out the night in there and bring her back out every day. So that is this enclosure all complete for my first tortoise. Oh guys, this little gal needs a name. It is a female and she needs a name. So please comment down below what you guys think. I should name her. So thank you guys so much for watching. A special thank you to Mr. Charlie Moorcroft again because I am just over the moon with this little tortoise. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more content and things and turtles when I have them available, remember, Patreon link is right up over there. Thank you guys again and I'll see y'all in the next one.